Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the OneDrive error code 0x8004DE40 that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And the error message reads that there was a problem connecting to OneDrive. Check your internet connection, then try again. And then again, followed by error code 0x8004DE40. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Open up the search menu. Type in proxy. Best match to come back with change proxy settings. Go ahead and open that up. Versus automatically detect settings. Make sure that it's toggled to the on position, meaning that a proxy server connection is turned off or disabled if this is turned on. So make sure you have that turned on here. Something else I recommend taking a look in as well. Close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this command prompt window, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed to the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space Winsock. W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter, should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully at this point you should be good to go and you should have resolved the problem. One final thing we can try here as well is actually resetting the OneDrive application. So if all else has failed, we can try to reset it. We can try to reset it. So open up the search menu. I'm going to have a file path in the description of my video. It starts with percent sign local app data and ends with a forward slash reset. Go ahead and search for that and then select where it says run command. So go ahead and just left click on that. Again, once you've pasted it into the search menu and give it a moment here. And you should have successfully reset the OneDrive application at this point. So pretty straightforward process. And then you just would go ahead and actually open it up. You can see it's down on our system tray here. You just sign back in and you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process. I do a positive will help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.